Horns up and welcome to a brand new episode of Headbangers Kitchen. Today we're going to be making an oriental style seafood soup and it's going to have prawns and fish and it is going to be a flavorful light broth. It's going to be amazing guys, trust me. It may not be the most high fat soup you'll ever have, but you know what? Just pop a fat bomb after it. Anyway, enough jibber jabber. Let's go and make that seafood soup, oriental style. Now for this recipe, I'm going to be using some basa fillets and also some prawns and I'm just going to chop them up into cubes and the prawns into halves. You can use whatever seafood you like, there is no compulsion to use what I've used. Now I'm going to make this soup in my wok and I'm going to heat up some olive oil. Into that goes the white of the spring onion, followed by the ginger, the garlic and just fry that off till the aroma starts to fill your kitchen. Then I'm going to throw in my seafood and just give that a good stir. Now I'm going to season it with some salt. I'm also going to add some Sichuan pepper powder, some pandan powder which I've used in the recipe before, some kaffir lime powder and some lemongrass powder. Now folks, don't panic if you can't find these powders. You can use fresh ingredients or you can completely skip them, use salt, pepper and maybe a little bit of cayenne. It will work just as well, trust me. Anyway, give that all a good mix and let the seafood cook. Now I'm going to add the middle part of my spring onion. Now I'm going to throw in some rice wine vinegar, some soya sauce and some fish sauce. Now I know you might be paranoid about the sugar in these sauces but we're using a light soya sauce and we're using small quantities of it. Next I add in my fish stock. This is some good freshly made but ready made fish stock. And I'm also going to add some water to this. And just let that cook and let everything infuse. Now I'm going to add in the green part of my spring onion. Once that comes to a simmer, I'm going to pour in one beaten egg and give it a good mix. This will give you lovely little bits of egg and I love this. Normally we use only the egg white but since we are on keto, let's use the yellow as well. Let's be dangerous. Let's live vicariously through egg yolks. And just let that bubble away for a bit and finish it off with some coconut milk and some coriander. And our soup is ready. Pour yourself a bowl and get drinking. The soup that is. Alright folks, so it's time to taste the seafood soup. And this smells really good. It smells very really fishy in fact. Anyway, let me dig in. Mm. Oh, wow. Oh yeah. That is beautiful, light, refreshing, fragrant. It's amazing. It's so good and it's perfect. You know, on keto we eat a lot of fatty things, but this is just beautiful and light. You know what? This is a perfect evening snack. You can always add more fat to your other meals. You know, this is not a very high fat soup, I presume, uh, but you can add more coconut milk. I don't know, I, I just think it's beautiful, like, I could just sit and sip this. Mm. Anyway, I hope you will try this delightful seafood soup. And you know what, I will see you on the next episode of Headbangers Kitchen. Cheers and keep cooking. Hey folks, if you like the music that you hear in the background on this show, I request you all to subscribe to my music channel where I upload my music, my songs, my everything. Otherwise, if you're here just for the food, subscribe to Headbangers Kitchen. If you like what Headbangers Kitchen does, you can support us monetarily on Patreon. And you can listen to a song of mine over here to see if you like the music just a little bit more. Thanks for watching.